everybody welcome back to my channel I'm Laura and if you're new here welcome if you've been with me for a while thank you thank you I am giving a short update on week 49 of my OMAD journey with intermittent fasting one meal a day and to see how I am doing I have been struggling struggling if um, y'all been following me for a little while you know that really I have not been able to get back on track since we went, <laughs> went on vacation in October. I think I have stayed in the same 10 pound bouncing back and forth range for about three months now. And when I realized that today, I got to thinking about it. this is This is not weight loss, Laura. This is just gaining and losing the same five to 10 pounds. So we really got to get back on track and get the mindset back. But right now I am having a hard time doing that with all the changes going on now in my world. And as most of y'all know, I've started a new job and I'm having all kinds of stress from the new job and nothing different changed for this week. <laughs> Last week when you guys were with me, I was so looking forward to this week because I was supposed to have two weeks off. It's Christmas time and the school's not open, so I shouldn't have to work. Wrong. <laughs> so what ended up happening was last week, um, Monday afternoon when I went back into the office after I left you guys, my world got shifted around again. I was told that I needed to get my CLP, which is my permit for uh, the Class B, by Thursday of last week. Yeah, I literally had like three days to get the study in and all the tests done, and I still had three tests to pass. Um, they, he wanted me, my trainer, um, the one that's over the trainers, he wanted me to have my CLP by Thursday because Friday, he wanted me to get the videos finished up and starting Monday, today, I will be working all week for the next two weeks, every single day, Monday through Friday, with the three trainers on learning the bus, ins and out, the pre-trip, everything about the bus and driving. So, guess where my stress level went? Through the roof. I'm telling you, all I did last week, other than video training, was study for tests, go take tests, study for tests, go take tests. I ended up passing, I got my CDL permit on Wednesday. I passed all three tests by Wednesday, got that taken care of. Thursday and Friday, finished up all the rest of the videos. All that is behind me now. So starting today, I went and started learning the pre-trip. Next level of stress has just been added on. This is the pre-trip script. Not just one, two, three, four pages front and back. So total of eight pages, you know, if you're just doing single side, but front and back, you have to memorize it all. This is the whole bus that you have to tell the proctor when you go test every single thing that they are looking for is in the script and you have to just up here verbally just tell them this is the engine compartment this is where the alternator is this is where the oil is this is where you put the oil blah 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 it is so much guys i mean this is just the next level of stress has just been added to me today i got this along with this folder here which has all this in it that i have to read and learn too so that's my next two weeks. I will be going to the school every day, doing training with the trainers, getting all this memorized. And then when we go back to school in January, hopefully within a week or so, they're gonna have me down there testing to see if I can pass the driving part of the test, pre-trip, all that's part of it. And I get my license. They are pushing me through hard and fast. So stress, 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 and I'm gonna tell you, I don't do well with stress, not even just in the eating department. Last week, about the middle of last week, my eye right here, <laughs> right there, started twitching. Like I can feel it and it hasn't stopped. It doesn't do it constantly, but it, it just did it a little while ago. And I know when I am thoroughly stressed out, my eye twitches. So I'm at like one of the heightened levels of stress for me. And I am trying to deal with things and cope with things the best way I can. I'm trying very hard to stick to OMAD. I may have done OMAD three times this past week. I did yesterday because we were traveling and on the road, so I didn't eat but one meal yesterday. But this, um, these last few weeks has just been an overload for me. So of course, the weight loss has not been happening. Last week I gained a pound. 
I did the same thing this week. I gained one more pound. Last week I was 175.6, I believe. Well, this week I'm 176.6. I'm still hanging in that 170 to 180 range, but I'm not losing weight. And I know a lot of it too is just me being on overload. I'm not sleeping well. Guys, I'm telling you like, I wake up every couple hours. My stress level is so high, I can't even get a full night's sleep, which I don't normally anyhow, but I can't even get my six hours in. You know, I'm like, I'm constantly waking up. So things are just at a different phase for me right now. And I'm saying all this to say, I put a lot of pressure on myself and I'm sure most of you do too. It's the holiday season. So we always have other things going on. But when I look back and saw that it's been three months that I've been in the same 10 pound area for the last three months, that's when it hit me. It was like, I'm, I'm just in a cycle right now. I am in a, what is it? A hamster in the wheel cycle. Round and around and around I go and I've got to change it, but it's not gonna change until the situation changes. So I am just, for the next few weeks, until I get my CDL, get my own route and get into a routine again. Once I get into a routine again, I think things are going to change. Mind shift will change. The stress level will be gone and I will be able to get back to where I need to be. But right now I am going to try to maintain and not gain past that 180 mark because that is where my mind is freaking out when I get close to 180. I just like, oh, I can't do this because I don't want to see because I know how easy 180 can slip to 190 to 200 and I don't want that to happen. So... I think for the next few weeks, instead of me focusing on weight loss, I'm going to focus on maintaining through the holidays, get everything situated in my new job work life. And then once that stress is off my mind, my head, my shoulders, maybe I can get back into a routine of exercise and get my weight loss going again. Because right now I am a fish out of water. I am flailing all over the place. I am, I'm just... I'm just living, I'm surviving day to day. So that is where things are at. I know this is sort of just thrown out there really quick, um, but I've, I've just, I don't know what else to say about it. This is where I am at the moment. But I will give you a little rundown of my week. Um, a subscriber had, us, had asked me about putting my meals back in. Um, they would like to see what I eat again, and I promise I'm going to do better with that after the first of the year. Again, things have just not been normal for me, and I've not been home cooking. We've been eating out, running the roads, whatever. Um, just whatever we can grab, we've been doing it, and I haven't really been sticking to one meal every single day like I had for the last X amount of months. So I will start doing better on adding my meals again um, and putting my total weight loss in again. I'm still over... Uh, yeah, 51 pounds. Yeah, I'm still at 51 pounds down total. So I'm not like totally slipping off, but at the same time, I at this point wanted to be 60 pounds down or even more. I, want, I, I really thought I'd be the goal by the end of the year, but that didn't happen. So not beating myself up over that. <laughs> and as always, you know what ends up happening. I do okay through the week, but the weekends come and that's when things go haywire. And I think most of us are like that. So for my last week, I literally, I, I was at work most all day long each day, and we did have early release on Friday. That was nice. I got home, and I, I think I was home by 1.30 or 2 o'clock, so that was nice. On Saturday, my son called, and he tells me that, actually, it was Friday night he called. Him and my daughter-in-law were on their way back from Dallas. They had just picked up two baby steers. So he has been wanting cows for months and months and months. I can't tell you how long this boy has been wanting cows. <laughs> so he's finally got him some baby cows. And yesterday, my daughter and I went down there and we got to spend some time with him and the family. We did some family photos with my mom and dad and my kids, my daughter-in-law, just outside. Just I don't have a whole lot of pictures of my mom and dad. And they're both, well, Mom will be 76 next year, but dad just turned 76. Mom will be 76 in March. So it's like, we need to do some family photos. You know, I, I don't have a lot of pictures of them together with my kids, with myself. So we did a few little family photos outside and played with the cows the rest of the evening. <laughs> 
He is so, my son is so ecstatic about these cows. It's just so funny. It's sort of like how I was when I got my chickens, you know, everything's about the chickens. Well, right now everything's about his baby cows. Um, they named them Bert and Duke. And they are, I think they're between two and three years old. They're as big as they're going to get. Um, Height-wise, they may get a little wider because, you know, all the fun feeding that the kids are doing with them and their little treats and stuff. But um, they're just both boys, no dairy cows, which is what he wanted to originally begin with. So I'm, I'm not sure how these two came into play, but whatever. He's got his cows. He's happy. He's ecstatic about it. I'm happy for him. So... We did that a little bit yesterday. I also had two 5Ks this weekend. Actually, I lied. I had a 6K on Saturday and a 5K on Sunday. The 12Ks of Christmas was Saturday. It's a race here in Houston. You can either do a 6K race or a 12K race. Let me tell you guys. I think I was like 46 minutes and some seconds on the 6K. Eight people ran double the amount of what I did and beat me in before I finished my 6k which equals out it's like 3.75 miles it's not quite four miles it's a little under so i'm like these people just ran like seven something miles before i could even get 3.75 in <laughs> i'm slow whatever <laughs> but it was just uh, they're, they're i'm just trying to get to the finish line they're just past me whoop 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 <laughs> i'm like geez the joys of running <laughs> and because i don't train like i should you know anyways but, so the 6K was Saturday, did that, got a picture with Santa Claus, had a good time, got all my my um, extra bling and garb from the series because it was the last race of a seven race series and I did all seven races this year. It's called the Holiday Series and every holiday they have a race. So I did all seven of them this year, got all my extra stuff and just enjoyed. The weather was cold and windy. But yesterday's weather was even worse. Oh, Lord. That wind on the seawall. The race was in Galveston. A group of us from my meetup group went down there and did the 5K. I I hate races in the in the wintertime up through, like, from, from this time of year up through about February, March on the seawall because they are so windy and cold. And if you put the rain in there, too, it's a miserable day. It didn't rain, thank goodness, yesterday, but that wind was whipping. So we did the little 5K. We all just walked, had a good time, enjoyed each other's company. I had not seen Marcy in months, and Marcy and I used to run together all the time. She had an injury this year, so she hasn't been running with me. Got to spend time with her, and she actually walked the race. I was so happy. Hopefully, she's going to get much better, and next year we can do more races together. But yesterday was great enjoyed that then went and saw the new baby cows that's part of my family so now i have some grand cows along with my chickens and my turtle and all the grand babies <laughs> and the dogs and the cats yeah grand cows <laughs> all my four-legged grand grand animals so just had a good time with the family this weekend enjoyed came home and went to work this morning and started doing bus training so that is the overview of my week guys I'm really going to try to do better, especially with the few things I mentioned earlier with the food and the pictures and stuff. Just got to get through the rest of this year. Keep maintaining, not gaining, and get my stress level down and get my life back on track and get a routine in. The routine is what I'm missing, and I know it's throwing me off. I know it is because I love routine. I love to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, have my plans going, I, you know, my list, my checklist and stuff. And this is not how things have been since Thanksgiving. And so Laura is all over the place. Sorry. Sorry. We're going to make it. And if you're having the same issues out there, take a deep breath. It's just like one of my friends said, just take a deep breath. We're going to get through this. We're all having struggles and problems right now. It's cold. It's the end of the year. It's holiday season. There's all this food all over the place. And temptation is everywhere. So... Get you that warm cup of coffee, hot cup of tea, take a deep breath, relax. I'm telling myself this for a reason, not just you, it's me too. Got to relax, decompose, de-stress, and let's get through the rest of this year together. All right, guys, I hope y'all are all doing great. I love each and every one of y'all so much. Thank y'all for being here. And oh, before I forget, I cannot believe I am like maybe 20 people away from having a thousand subscribers. So I've decided I'm going to do a giveaway for when I reach that 1000 subscriber mark. I'll do a little video for that. 
subscriber giveaway itself by itself and whoever comments in the video will be into the, the, the drawing. So when I hit that 1000 mark, I'll do a little short video and we'll get a little giveaway going. I don't even know what I'm going to give away yet, but I'll figure out something. But I just, I just want to give back to you guys for being here with me, watching my craziness this year and all the crazy nutty things I do and um, all the comments and all the friendships I've made. I cannot get over how many of you guys reach out to me and talk and I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. So we are gonna do a giveaway, 20 more people. So if you haven't subscribed, guess what? Do it now. <laughs> all right, everybody, have a great one. I'll check in next week and we will see where things are going from maintaining and not gaining. That is the goal. And um, we'll see what's happening. So from me to y'all, love you guys. And I will talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye.